Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how to add a cookie notice or a GDPR cookie notice to your WordPress website. And that cookie notice will look something like this. Let's dive straight in. So by default, WordPress actually saves cookies and I'm going to link up this document over here whereby you read about cookies. And if you run a WordPress website, that means that you are actually required by law to display a cookie notice just like this on your WordPress website. So let's dive straight in to get started. And now to show you how to add such a cookie notice, we are going to go right into our dashboard and we are going to come over here to plugins and we are going to search for a cookie plugin. And that cookie notice plugin is called GDPR cookie consent. And this is one of those ones that I found that are standing out and that will help you basically to set up your cookie notice without doing it custom or without going into a couple of steps here and there. So once it shows up over here, I say GDPR cookie notice. At the moment, it has over 700,000 active installations. So simply install and activate. Once it's activated, then you're going to come over here and then load up the settings page. Once the settings page shows up, then we will have something like this over here, okay? Now this general tab has a couple of settings. There's also another tab called the customize cookie bar, customize button, advanced, uh, the tab, and then also the help guide whereby you can learn about a bit of customizations for this specific uh, plugin or settings for this cookie notice. Now, when we head straight to the general tab, we have a couple of options. Here they say that the cookie bar is currently on. So you can even say off. That means that you have disabled your cookie bar from appearing when I update. I come over here to my website, you realize that now I don't have the cookie bar showing up. Now when I turn it on, then that means I'll have my cookie bar set back on. Now the cookie bar, we want to show it as a banner, a pop-up or a widget. So if you want to show it as a pop-up, and by selecting pop-up here, it will bring us to options. Do you want it to be an overlay or a no overlay? Do you want it to be sticky? Do you want it to animate? Then you want it on height to animate or basically to disappear that goes back to how you want it now by simply me updating this so that you can see how a pop-up cookie notice looks like using this plugin i reload this page over here boom this is how it looks like at the moment with the information and all this over here now uh, if we choose to use a widget uh, we can show our widget on the left hand side of our website or on the right hand side of our website and uh, we can either make it uh, sticky on loading and on hide we can either animate it or basically make it disappear so i'm going to basically leave this on default and we look at how our widget cookie notice looks like on loading this it should appear somewhere here see now this is how it looks like uh, if we basically want it to be uh, a cookie banner something like that and it will appear in the footer, not in the header, but of course you have two options and we basically want it to auto hide once someone accepts. And after delay, we don't want it to auto hide, but you can also uh, simply set that up here and say if someone delays to accept, then you can simply hide the cookie notice. And here you can auto hide the cookie, but if the user scrolls, uh, we can say no. That means that it will still appear even when someone uh, scrolls the website you get basically i want people to accept uh the cookie notice because at the end of the day wordpress still saves their visitors cookies so on the option of show tab again or show again the tab now this comes in handy when uh, someone may be uh, declined or you basically just want to re-notify the person to accept the cookies now you can come over to the settings and you can uh, enable the tab to show again once someone has already accepted or declined. And then on the tab position, you can again uh, reposition it either on the right or on the left. And you can also set the margins on where that tab should appear like. And the show more text is, for example, you can uh, change this to anything that you want. Or oh, let me say our cookie policy, something like that. So whenever the tab is going to show up again, then this is the text that will show up on the show more text option. On the other hand, you can reload after the script uh, accept event. Now that means that actually your website will load after someone has accepted the script or on the other hand, uh, reload after the accept button. This is the same. Uh, this is similar to that also and reload after the rejection button click. Now you can set this up to yes 
uh, to basically allow your website to reload once someone makes any or accepts any of these events. Now on the other option here is where we can customize our message that appears in our notice right here. So we have the heading, so we can say cookie notice. And once I update here, and I come here to our website and reload, you see that we'll have a heading over here on the top. See, this is the heading right here. Now, uh, on the other hand, we can also customize a message that appears right within here. For example, this website uses cookies to improve your uh, experience. And this is the message over here. And it is the same message right down here. So what you see uh, here, the cookie settings for the margins and for the button is the basically the spacings between these two. Uh, options here and uh, the color for the bar you can change this to any color that you want let me say black and the text is going to be in white and then the font we can choose the default in font or we can basically choose from the available font so when i update over here and i come here to our website boom you realize that this actually changes right here so in this case i'm going to remove the heading because we don't need the heading oh i don't want to show up a heading on our cookie notice so once, once I delete the heading, automatically it will disappear right there. Once that is done, we come to the customize uh, the buttons, the accept button, which is this button over here. We can customize it right down here by changing the text, the text color, and uh, the color for the button itself, and the closing header, or basically opening up in a URL. For example, you say open URL, you can simply here select the URL where you want your visitor to be redirected. And then the size of the button can be to either a smaller button or something like that. So once you're done with those settings, you simply hit uh, update. And once you're done hitting update, then the rejection button, once someone rejects, you can display a button or a link right for the, your rejection button. And you can add the close header or basically opening it up in another URL. Now that you can set it up to the way you want. So under the settings button, which is this one over here, you can add any text, the custom settings, just like here, it is called cookie settings. And then you can add the color for that text. Uh, you can change it to any color right here that you want. And then uh, you can either use a link or basically another button to appear right here. So in this case, we're using a link. But if you want to show a button, uh, you can also set the button color over there. And uh, you are good to go. So in this case, I'll basically leave it to be a link. And the size of that button only will set it up over right here once you are done you simply update when we come over here to our page we simply reload and you see that now our color has changed to the settings uh, link now when we come over here to the read more option you can add a read more link right there and uh, you can of course customize every other section right here to the way you want and the page that someone is actually going to read more or the page that someone will be redirected to, you can set it up over here, whether to a separately uh, created URL or a page that is available on your website. For example, when someone is going to basically go to the privacy page and you can minimize the bookkeeper in the page URL or basically open it up in the new URL. Once you are done, you simply hit update and save the changes. And uh, basically in a nutshell, that's how you can set up your cookie notice bar on your WordPress website using a free available plugin and that you can easily customize to any way you like, whether you can position it at the top, in the sides, or basically in the bottom area right here. And you can simply link up the options right here to any existing page on your website or to a totally different page on the internet. I'm going to leave some links down in the description box below. Uh, so that you can read about the cookie notice and how you can enable cookies on your WordPress website and also uh, other tutorials that are related to this basic tutorial or other tutorials that you would love to check out on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please give it a subscribe and if you like the video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.